Oh, now it's recording. Okay. So I actually had to press two buttons. So the more you know about this, so that's fun. So now. So now the fun part is, as I was saying, I love the Fallout style. But part of the reason for this uh, drawing to be done today is my mom asked me to draw a boy and girl restroom pass. So I kind of was like, eh, okay, I can, I can do a restroom pass. And then I was just like, oh, this is a great chance to just kind of like draw that Fallout drawing I want to draw. So I've taken the chance, and now I'm drawing that Fallout drawing. I've been really dying to freaking, freaking... Say draw one more time. <laughs> to create via digital illustration. There you go. Why? Why were you so hatred... Why were you hating against my drawing montage? No, no. It's not that I was hating your drawing montage. It's just... As one who would like to consider herself perhaps at least a wee bit of a, of a uh, writer, saying the same word within a uh, paragraph mm -hmm. is repetitive and um, in some cases it can be boring. I guess that. I guess that. I definitely guessed that. I also don't know when to stop. So. <laughs> See, I do all my sketching. Uh, I do all my sketching beforehand and then bring it into the computer. And that's where I start inking in and fixing up certain things. Like this. I'm going to actually revisit this pit boy a little. I'll bring a picture of Pip Boy. Pip Boy images. This is a Pip Boy coffee cup. That's cute. It's Lego Pip Boy. So there we go. There's my Pip. So there's the Pip Boy. And now I'm going to take a quick look. I'm going to be like, okay. Huh. So, Oh, I do not know where you. your backpack is. It's right behind you. So, there's only the top. They never show the bottom. Of course, this is the bottom part. Don't you have a pit boy? I do, but it's up on a shelf. Right, and I'm too short to get it for you. Or I would. Interesting. Hmm? So, let's see here. What? Frack Bethesda. What? They have a new Pip Boy that was released. I never even heard of it. But it's not like I'm going to shell out how much? $350 for it? They gave me a piece of plastic for that much. And this one's better than that. Hell, it's even got like a little hollow tape compartment. The hell is wrong with Bethesda? Everything. The money horse. I don't live streaming your uh, Google search so they have no idea. No, I know. I don't want them to see this uh, atrocity. I love Bethesda. I just <laughs> find that sometimes their business practices are terrible. And it's not like anybody's watching anyway. It only says one user. So, and that's one me. User. Yeah, and that's me. So... There's a thing in the top uh, corner. Oh, I need a new, 
my game. Yes, please. I'm sorry. Okay. It's just, you know, Stardew Valley. The coolest music. Just for a little game like this. Now we're going to get the fingers. Got the fingers. Now we're going to get this finger. Remember, kids, if you can't uh, count your fingers and toes, then I'm sorry to say why you alive. That's rude. You should be able to count to at least five. Yes, but when you're saying kids, you know, I'm a preschool teacher, so I'm trying to Oh, I'm not talking about those kids. I'm talking about the other kids. Not actual kids. I love kids. Kids are great. Except when they're not. They barf all over you. I was a kid once. It was a terrible time. I'm glad I'm no longer a, a child. Then again, ticking time clock. Terrible things. Give her a cute little button nose. Keep it like that. Big smile, little under lip. Eyes. Ah. The eyes are as close as possible. Give her those really fun ears. Fun ear. A little semicolon as the earlobe. Grab the other side of her hair now. Hair swoops. I actually got this technique from uh, another, st uh, another uh, student, uh, another classmate. I said, how do you draw hair? And he drew hair so wonderfully. So I, so I was like, okay, teach me how you draw, draw your hair. And, I've t and I incorporated uh, a bunch of his techniques like this. Like make sure there's always a little little hair loop or a little strand that's a little out for, uh, for more messy hair or for nice bushy hair. You always want those, those little pigtails I've discovered. Very fun to have. Now we're going to draw the other hand. Ooh. Draw. What is that? Cuff? Yeah, that's what it's called. It's always called cuff. Now, we're going to jump back over to uh, Pit Boy here. We want to finish up the shoes. It's always good to bounce between the two. Now, we're going to do this. I'm actually going to change on the fly the original drawing because I need to break it up a little bit more. There we go.
Now we're going to grab Park Shoe, give it some depth. It's all about those lines, where you place those lines. If the lines are not placed right, you're going to have a bad time. Go. Now we have our pit boy. Let's take a look at him. I like him. So in all reality, I think I'm going to have to fix her. Yeah, she's not nearly enough. So there we go. That's much better. Now. Now we're going to draw that pit boy from the top. Little knob. Actual pit boy chassis itself. It's another knob right there. Then we actually have a little visor. Pit boy itself. We're going to actually give the screen a little, little squigglies. Always like giving the giving a uh, glass or anything like that little squigglies because it helps define it. We're going to actually do that. And now we're going to put the top on. Put that little wheel that's right there. It's that little hose. Of course the place where the hollow tapes go. Actually, we're going to back up there for a moment. We're going to put that hollow tape on right there. That's a lot better. It gives it a bit more depth. So, we're going to put the hose right there. We're going to actually erase. Give that hose a bit more depth. So art is all about time, patience, and thinking about what every line is going to be. Every line should tell a story or help help translate the story that you want to convey with your drawing over. So, for example, for example. Uh, it's not the amount of how many lines. Sometimes one too many lines is bad. But um, a well-executed line, like see how I'm playing with the uh, the line width to get the exact uh, weight I desire. I was very close. There we go. I'm able to get the basic gist of what I want to say with those lines. So there's the uh, pit boy glove. Now as I said I fixed her a little bit so I'm actually going to have to go back and give her two marader boobs. There we go. Jane, she's got two marader boobs now. Two marader boobs! I love two mirror boobs. In any case, so we're going to whoop, see Daisy. God, I gotta get this. Wait, hold on. I forgot. There we go. Now I got that breast in there. Don't have to worry about the other one. Just gotta make sure everything is on par. So we're actually going to draw those lines. And feel free to write in the comments or something uh, if you want me to talk about a certain thing. Uh, I'm more than willing. So we actually want that line to be a bit more. There we go. We're going to clean up that little fuzzy on the end.
because I actually have the chat open on the other side so you can take a look uh, so if you're watching you can Jane mm -hmm. are you watching not on my computer but I am watching uh, well, I know you're watching you're like right there yep so if you want me to talk about a certain topic or something just put it right in the, uh, the chat I'll periodically look over I will see it so and of course this drawing in its entirety will be uh, put on patreon first and then will be released on DeviantArt and Facebook and all that is even though you're going to be able to see this live stream even if you're not a patreon yeah so but in any case I'm actually going to do that because that gives that a little bit more depth. And I'm just going to actually come back over to here. Do the same thing. Oh, that looks so much better. Actually, that line disturbs me on an intense level. I don't think anyone will ever truly understand. Yep, this is it. The Battle of the Line. Gain that line to there we go. Now I'm happy with that line. Okay, so we have them. Hey, sometimes a battle goes over swimmingly. A swimming battle? Yeah, swimming swimmingly. You, you know, swimmingly. I mean I know the term, but a swim I could never imagine a battle going swimmingly. For either party. <laughs> So, we're actually going to zoom in here. So, she's very, uh, Annie, are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? You've been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth criminal. So, we're actually going to fix her up a little. Get rid of the okay button. Hide that. We're actually going to fix the tilt. So, we were on par with the rest. There we go. Now we can. Annie, are you fat? Nah, Annie, not fat. She's just big boned. There we go. Check. Select, deselect. Okay, so now that we have that, be able to. Ah, let me see. Let me see, let me see. I, I must see the people. There we go. Now, I've been watching a lot of Fallout lore as well. I gotta say, probably the most interesting stuff has been the Dunwich uh, buildings. If you uh, watch, if you play a lot of Fallout, or you know, or uh, or you watch a lot of Fallout videos, you might have come across somebody talking about the Dunwich building. I personally feel like it's a fun. Some say it's lore. Some say it's uh, like it's complete canon because it is technically in the DLC. On. For those who haven't played Fallout Four, uh, or who haven't who haven't heard of the Dunwich, could you elaborate? Uh, yes, actually. Uh, so the so the Dunwich. Uh, so in Fallout, there's a company called uh, the Dunwich uh, Company, and you come across their building in Fallout 3 first and when you encounter the building they're like oh this is just a uh, interesting uh, ruin to explore and as you explore it you start seeing ghosts and at first you're like oh there's, oh, there's ghosts so that's kind of bad and then suddenly you start seeing more ghosts and then you start realizing that you know something's really up 
and you start seeing good. So I'm currently t uh, sitting back and taking a look and seeing if there's anything wrong with this drawing. Kind of like the line artwork. Jane, what do you think? Yep, I don't see anything wrong too. Whoop, almost forgot to finish up this line right here. Mm. So, now that I have that, okay, so now that I have the fallout thing, so there's the Dunwich, which is fun. Now, ultimately, uh, you as you uh, progress down the... Uh, so actually, I'm going to quickly show you how I clean up my lines. So once I have my inked lines, uh, my professor taught me this trick. And I thought it was really cool. So I'm actually going to... Okay, so now I have my line selected. I'm going to lock my ink. Unsmooth it. I'm going to go to Paths. I'm going to Alt-click that little circle. I'm going to pick a Tolerance. Now, you can put your tolerance in anything you want. The more tolerance it has, the more wavy it'll be. I always like two because it keeps it kind of in control. But considering these lines are really big and there's not that many small lines, I'm actually going to bump it up to three and see how that works. So I'm going to hit OK. Just take a quick look at that line art. Whoops, I almost forgot. Make that ink disappear. I'm going to hit this little solid circle. Click. And click off. Ooh, that looks lovely. Look at that line work. Much better. Much more stylized and TG-esque. So, as I was saying, there's the Dunwich building. And as you go through the Dunwich building, there is quite a bit of interesting stuff, actually. So, as you progress further and further down into it, you start realizing that, hey, as I said, you're seeing ghosts and stuff, but you start to gain like a Cthulian vibe from it as well. And if if you haven't if you haven't uh, played Fallout Three or ha don't know of this, I would recommend saving it. I actually won't go into it anymore. It's just very Cthulian of what happens, and there's actually a side quest that you take a book there. Now, as I said, very Cthulian is one of my favorites, but but yeah, that's that's actually some of my favorite stuff about Fallout. So now we're actually going to get into the coloring aspect. So, Fallout likes to have its colors very uh, flamboyant, fun. So we're actually going to try mimicking that. So very first things we're going to do is we're actually going to select all the skin tone. I always like doing the skin first because I feel like once you have the skin, you can match the colors correctly according to the character's uh, skin tone. And for sake of brevity, and considering there's going to be two passes, I'm just going to have both of them have the same skin tone. I've already given them very Caucasian features, so they're going to be Caucasian. So, I'm going to bring up my super duper awesome info spheres. So, we're going to select, let's see here. So, up top here, I have my, uh, my, my uh, picking color. Underneath, I actually have a little uh, little thing that shows off what that color is. Uh, when will you be drawing more of the News Explorers? Uh, I will be drawing more of the News Explorers uh, later on. Uh, probably not tonight. Maybe over the week. I'll. What? Um, no, the name of my comic is Comically Enchanted, which is actually very, very fun so far. Um, I'm going to do more of that as well, but Newest Explorers, I want to do another one of the Newest Explorers. It's one of my favorites, so I am planning to go back to the Newest Explorers, so, uh, but not for a little bit. And I know a lot of my fans are nudists and they like my nudist artwork. But sometimes I like drawing clothed people as well, because uh, the world is not just made up of nudists as much as we would like. So, next up I modify, expand. I'm going to expand it by two. And I hope that helps uh, helps you, uh, nudist lover one two three. So, um, I will be I will be uh, going to that. So don't worry. So now that I have my uh, selected colors, I'm going to go to my color 
and I'm going to drop them in. There we go. There we go. There's my skin tone. I like that skin tone. Very fun. And now we're going to do the eyeballs. So we're going to go to pure white for the eyeballs. And we're going to color in the eyes by hand because of how I have it done. So sometimes it takes a little bit of work to make sure that eyeball looks right. So right there I have my eyeball. Sadly, I got to color this in because if I dump, dump bucket, it's going to create a nasty little pixeled line. And actually, I'm going to quickly dump bucket. And I know you're there. You're very small. See, right here, there's actually a line I was very afraid of. So I'm actually just going to have to bump it up. Let's kick it up a notch. Make it bigger. So there we go. Got the one eye all colored in. Now we're going to get the other eye. Very careful. Taking chances, making mistakes, getting messy. Now notice I still have my skin tone uh, selected. This is because now, if I don't like the line, I can actually kind of like fill into where I desire it to be. So. What do you think, Jane? Look good? Hmm. Looking good to me. So, I hope it's looking good to you as well. So. Greetings, stranger. What? Green? Just saying hello. Oh, you're just saying hello to the uh, to the people at home. Yes. Now I got his eyeballs. Let's do her eyeballs. Because everybody needs the white of their eyes. How are you supposed to shoot at them? Guy, yeah, I, I forget exactly which uh, general said that. Uh, wait till you see the whites of their eyes. It's just kind of a cliche at this point. It is a bit of a cliche. Don't shoot till you see the whites of their eyes. So now our Fallout girl and boy have their the whites of their eyes. So now comes the fun part. So fallout jumpsuits are always blue. So I'm actually going to go up to my little color wheel and we're actually going to figure out what blue and yellow we want. Now here's my color wheel. Oops. So I'm going to quickly flip back and forth and find the blue I desire. Mark it with my finger. Move this. There, I like that blue. And now I'm going to select my yellow. All right, there should be good. Move that. Yeah, there we go. Now I should be able to move them. Let's do the yellows first. I'm actually going to quickly bring up a picture on my other screen, the entire pit boy. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. So, actually, at this point, I don't need to zoom in. So now I'm just going to select, modify, expand. Go expand it for two. I'm going to uh, thank you very much, uh, Nature's Lover123, for following me. Uh, I'm going to mark that as right now. So, yay. Thank you very much. So, now I have that. I'm going to pop the colors on. Look at that. That's beautiful color. That's a beautiful yellow. Now, I'm going to select... Here, 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 here. I actually have um, other things to select, but I'm actually going to see how that goes first. So select, modify, expand, boom, color, color them in. Look at that. That is beautiful. That looks like freaking Vault Tech 101. Bright freaking blue. Bright freaking blue. I love bright freaking blue. So. 
Let's see here. If you can't hear me, please tell me so I can figure out why you can't hear me. So let's why take. Why would they know you're asking that question if they can't hear you in the first place? True, but I'm pretty sure the microphone is working. So let's see here. Now that we have our Vault Tech colors, I'm actually going to modify this yellow. Give it a little bit more yellow. Select. Well, the nature of how I have my canvas set up, it makes it uh, very hard to do colors correctly unless you have done it, done this a thousand and one times. Because I have textures and stuff that make that add other colors of themselves, and it's always a little too red in some cases, but we don't mind. So now that I got their hair color selected, we're going to select, modify, expand, and I think I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to first do this. I'm going to go to color and make it all yellow. But I don't like her yellowed hair. So we're actually going to give her more of a uh, more of an almond color. I think that's almond. No, too yellow. Darken it down. Too dark. See what I mean by having to figure out the color? It's all about figuring out where the color lies. What do you think, Jane? Mm, a little too close to her hair, uh, skin tone. Yellowy. I thought you were going to make an almond. Yeah. Almonds are more browny. Like that? I'm bad at color. That's red. So red. What about that? Oh, I'm just going to have to look up what almonds look like. Almonds are like, um, I don't know if you have to look up what almonds look like. They're a, um, they're like a tree bark. Oh, God, is that what the almond color is? I didn't think that would be almond color. So we're going to go with a nice dark brown, uh, brown hair. I was thinking actual almonds, like the nut. Using logic. What's logic? I don't know. Apparently, the same goes for people who name colors. I guess they're thinking about the inside of an almond. That's kind of the right color. So I'm going to bring up those color wheels again. Should have just done this to begin with. Let's see here. I think we're going to go with right there. I'll give that a try. Oh, that's way too yellow. Way too orange. There we go. There's that brown I was looking for. Always very hard to find that brown for some reason for me. Go we'll make it a little bit more brown. There we go. Jane, what do you think? Yeah. Ready brown. Ready brown. I like that. So now that I have my hair color things and all of that. We're actually going to select this color, make a much darker version. We're going to select this, that, and that. Because these are what I call the give em ups. Give em ups? I don't know. They're, they're the things that are supposed to help uh, 
create more depth. Or so I've been told. Select, modify, expand, hit that. There we go. Look at that. By adding that darker color on the ends, it creates more of a more depth. Now, oops. Gotta color that in. There we go. So now that I have my colors. My Volt Tech colors and my Volt Tech everything is finally for the more mundane colors that need to be done. So let's see here. Gotta find a picture of the Pit Boy. So Pit Boy, we're gonna go with this this picture right here. So the pit boy is actually a gray. So we're actually going to just grab a gray, nice dark gray. That'll be the main chassis. Dark gray, because I like the Fallout uh, Three version of the pit boy, personally. So. And we're actually going to do the same thing down here. Dark gray. Make sure we got the entire shoe. I don't feel like everything. Oh, Lord. I can't see it. There we go. So, now that I have that all selected, file. No, wait. Hold on. No. Select. Modify. Band. The reason I'm doing this is because the colors underneath, I don't want. I want to be able to have the color right underneath the uh, black line. That way, it looks good. So that color, I like it. But we're going to make it just a little darker. There we go. That's a lot nicer. So now that we got that, we're going to make a nice dark, dark. Actually, on select, deselect. Now we're going to select all this our junk. We're actually going to also hit the file save as. We're going to quickly go to CE. Out bathroom sign signs. I'm gonna save that because I don't want to be lost. Save you save. Okay. So ah, hallelujah. I'm selecting all that. Which, by the way, the entire reason I'm doing this uh, live stream is because everybody else was doing it. And I just wanted to be popular. <laughs> Note, that is actually a very famous line from Futurama. Uh, kudos to you if you know what season it's from. I could easily look that up. I could. But... I consider that cheating, and you don't want to be a filthy cheater, now do you? Go ahead, look it up, because I'm a filthy cheater. <laughs> Honestly, I've, I've never met somebody that can actually remember seasons, like quotes from a season. You obviously have not met the, uh, the, uh, Simpsons. Which, by the way, I think um, the person who was watching us has just left because they found me boring. So. Oh, well, whatever. I mean, I'm not the most amazing person to watch draw. 
Yeah, I could talk about politics. But nobody like wants me. Hear about politics. But nobody wants to hear about politics. Especially my opinion on politics. Destroy them all, I say. Make a new world. There we go. Actually, we're going to make the gloves a nice dark blue. Because if it's a nice extreme dark blue, it won't seem black. Like, it's okay to have gray, but you should always be careful about that. So, modify, expand. Whoop. Now we're going to, there we go. Look at that some reason I don't feel like picking up my uh, thing so there we go whoa doggy so we seem to have a bit of trouble there so we're going to actually have to bring this up above. There we go. Color. There we go. Going to go back to normal. Select that color. Throw it back down. Back to overlay. No, that's hard lit. There we go. We're just going to quickly fix my mistake because I can make mistakes just as much as the next guy. So, oops. Actually, I bet you know, anything, anybody who uh, joined probably thought I was going to draw um, new this artwork. <laughs> so, apologize for that. I mean, my live stream thing wasn't very, like, hiding anything. It, it, it's of these characters going, hey, there's a live stream going on. I mean, like, I couldn't be any more clear than that. So, if you got here, and you didn't think at all I was going to be drawing these two, then I'm sorry. I guess I should have been more uh, clear. So. I don't know how much crystal you could see. Maybe say like a big sign saying, I'm coloring and doing these in. So, finally, I'm going to hit the save button. Look at that, Jane. There's only one last thing to do. And what is that, Jane? Green. The green of their pit boys. There's actually a very important reason I'm doing this. Making sure this detail is in there. Because the green of the pit boy screen is actually going to really signal and it's going to tie the entire thing together. You should always have that one separate color. Look at that. That's amazing. I'm happy with this drawing. Save. What do you think, Jane? So now that we got that done, we're actually going to select everywhere else make sure we have everything oh. inverse normal missed a color
There we go. So I'm actually going to respond to this text because I feel like I should. So now I got everything selected. It's inverse select, expand. All right, now that we've done that, we are going to open up our background, unlock everything, delete. Delete, unlock our textures, delete, delete, bam. Now we got our textures all unlocked and relocking those back in. I can now definitively, there we go. Now with that, I can easily Box out the girl first, file, export, save for web. Go wait for the computer to respond. Responding, respond, respond. Make sure we have our transparency. We are going to save that as boy save. Wait for the computer to respond. Control. There we go. We're going to file export save as give it a moment. Sure, save, girl, so we can easily find those, save them, and we'll open this up, my folders, go to my desktop, reopen my start doodle, cancel, yep. I'm going to save that. Now, now that I have my start doodle up again, Go to my drawings, find the drawings I drew. First, we're going to start with the boy, the check mark. Okay, he's in now, but we want to make sure he's a smart object. 
Okay, he's a smart object. So now we can actually scale him and it won't lose any of the detail. All right. Now that we got him in, we're going to grab the girl. And we're going to size her down to the correct size as well. Put them in the same spot. We're actually going to get rid of the info and the signature. Now we're going to select, oops. Oh, they're not currently tied to the background, so we can actually just dump white onto this background. And now, finally, we can write our text. We're going to make that actually 60. Oops. Now we're going to make sure we have that. I'm actually going to make it a antique book because I feel antique book is a lot more neater. And we're going to take that pass. We're going to lower it a little. No, use Comic Sans. Huh? <laughs> I will not use Comic Sans. All right. How about Papyrus? How dare you? I'm going to find So now that we got that, Jane, what do you think? Bathroom pass boys? Yeah. I think it should be hall pass though. Well, it's for the bathroom. actually just going to duplicate that So we have the boys. Boys pass. We're going to go to 
drawings, new folder. JPEG, save. I don't like saving as a JPEG, but sometimes you just got to. Okay. And then throw in the other girl. Center her a bit better. There we go. Save as. JPEG, drawings, new folder, girls, pass, save. So, uh, I'm going to actually, oh, save the two, there we go. And I think that's it. So I'm going to hit file save one more time, and I'm just going to pass drawings in that new folder. Hit save. Okay. Now they're both done. So I'm actually going to bring them up now. There we go. The boys pass and the girls pass. Jane, like them? Yeah. Girls, boys, boys, girls. So, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to post these on my uh, Patreon so you can take a look and enjoy them. Uh, if there's going to be any deviations um, for my mom, I will change them. Uh, so, actually, that took a total of an hour. Yay! So, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you on the next live stream.